All right. Hello, welcome everybody. Hi. I know I've been a little inconsistent lately, mostly because of my throat. I've been not feeling great. But let's get started, shall we? So first we can talk about the, uh, <clears throat> the elephant in the room. That is my overlay. I worked really hard on this this week. I figured if my if I'm not capable of um, if I'm definitely not capable of streaming, the least I can do is work on the stream and hopefully make it better for you. Um, so I appreciate all the positive feedback. Um, this here is a starting slash AFK overlay. Uh, what we're about to see here is regular time streaming overlay. Uh, obviously, obviously, because again, I was not planning on uh, overlay my my second monitor the wrong size, but we'll make do. We'll make it work, folks. Don't, don't, don't mistake me. We're gonna make it work, okay? Um, so what you see up there, uh, I, I did use symbols for the uh, four different trackers that I have. The first one is follow. That's the notification bell that you see both on YouTube and on Twitch. The second is the Twitch um, subscription, the, the little crown thing that it gives to subscribers. Uh, then there's the dollar sign for donations and the bits symbol for bit giving. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. I appreciate it so, so much. Uh, on top of all that, we now have rudder pedals. I have been waiting for these things for ages. And guess what? They're here. You can see me moving them back and forth right now. I'm not touching my HOTUS. Look, ma, no hands. Uh, it's only taken the post office a little over uh two months to get it here but i did get them i can tow brakes i can swing my rudder back and forth oh i'm so happy i've done a couple of test landings only in x-plane 11 i have never flown it in microsoft flight so we're all gonna try this as a brand new thing together i've never seen it before and you've never seen me do it so that's what we're gonna be doing today and we are in the uh, A32NX project by uh, Fly-By-Wire uh, Simulations. This was just updated less than a week ago. I think it was six days since their last update. Uh, still not everything is, um, is working yet, but I did do a little short sort of pseudo test flight. I didn't have my HOTUS set up or anything, but you know, I did set up and shut down, and it is much more systems complete than it ever was. However, I will say, this doesn't look great. Look how grainy all this is. I mean, I don't know if it looks that way to you guys, but until I zoom in super close, it looks grainy to me. Um, I was also having a lot of problems with things popping in and out when I panned the camera. Although it looks like that's not doing it anymore, so... Maybe things have gotten better. I don't know. Uh, but I did that just this afternoon, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what caused that. But let's get this thing rolling, shall we? Got myself my little procedures here, and we're going to get started starting this thing up. Batteries 1 and 2. The uh, ground recorder is not modeled, so we turn on external power. What are you freaking out about now? Okay, external power is on, fuel pumps are all off, and then we're going to need to load fuel, so to load fuel. Uh, this is another thing that I do not like at all. Microsoft Flight does everything in either pounds or gallons, and everything that I have does it in kilograms. So metric tons, etc. I'm gonna have to swap here real quick and say eight kilograms. Start with. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Inning. 
I've already created this in SimBrief. I just need to pull it in. The huh? That didn't work. Latest from Simbri. Okay, we'll just look from the actual Simbri. Okay, so we need 7661 kilograms of that 1A. That's going to be 2,520 gallons. All right, so this is gonna be fuck me. Okay, two thousand five hundred. That's two thousand one hundred twenty one thousand thousand. Close enough. Good enough for government work. That's what we're doing. Right there. All right. So let's get this thing rolling. We have now loaded fuel. What's our, what's our load look like? It's like we've got 176 passengers, which at least on air says shouldn't even be possible. This just does it by weight. Thank you very much for being useless. Okay, we're just going to go with that and say it's close. I have no idea if it actually is close enough, but that's what we're doing. All right. So, go back to our checklists. Over to chat so I can... You guys are saying, if anything. By the way, okay. Miss anything, so now I'm going to go down to this so that I can see some brief... And my checklist, because I'm going to need those both very, very soon. All right, so external power, fuel pumps are off, fuel loaded, APU fire test. Be nice if you shut off. Okay. Take that. All right, APU fire test pass, master switch on. Now we're going to be waiting for... While we're waiting for that, I can up the. Waiting for that flap open message. Flaps aren't in takeoff config yet. I'm, I'm aware. We're not ready for that yet. Are going to break on? We're supposed to be. Hear all that. Lap open. All right, let's go ahead and get that started. <clears throat> and while that's going, let's uh, get these adheres aligning. Technically, that's not until later, but we're going to do it now anyway. Uh, APU has started. Cockpit lights and McDo's being turned up. Technically, I don't really need it. Don't have an actual co-pilot. I'll turn up our Reese's cups because I want to be able to see what's going on on the uh, oh, what's this called? The CDU? Uh, F FMA? No. Uh, I'll find it here. My brain is not braining today. Um, I was very very rushed to get on to stream today. Um, so I'm still a little flustered. I apologize for that. I'm going to do my best. All right, so flap lever, speed brake, probe window heat not in need. APU set on. Are we available yet? Or not? It's still climbing. Come on. Let's get this APU going, folks. Ah, yes, it's just warning me that my signs are off. They should be at this moment. 
Hey, APU available. Let's turn on APU bleed. Off external power. Air conditioning panel, no white. Uh, cross bleed set auto. Go ahead and set our temperatures. Generator 1 and 2 fault light check on. External power off. Electrical, all other lights off. Ventilation, all lights off. Let's get to our pre-flight procedures. Adiers are already aligning. Let's get our strobe light, wing light, nav and logo light, uh, seat belts, no smoking, and emergency exit lights all on. Landing elevation should be set to auto. Which <laughs> wouldn't really matter. It is currently inoperative. Um, uh, pack flow should be normal. Fuel pumps all on. We are getting ready to get pushed back, folks. All right, engine one, fire test. Engine two, fire test. Beautiful. All right, radios are already on. Now we get to set up our mic. All right, now this is going to be something a little new for me. Uh, they've changed it a bit, and it's not quite the same as the 319. All right, so we are going from K... I can't do that. K-M-C-I to C-Y-Y-Z. Flight number is going to be 1,000. IRS it. We need to... Niner... Close enough. Close enough for government work. We're doing it. Uh, IRS initialization. What is our call? Next day is five, as it always is. Crew's flight level is three five zero. Is no wind rolls yet. Go to flight plan. All right, so we are going from camp. There we are. MCO departing one nine right. A nine right. Be a royal nine. Oh, you don't want to do royal nine, do you? There may be a different runway that wants one right. Oh. Archer. Uh, you do not have the royal department. Well, let's.
अच्छा New plan, departure. Sorry guys, it's just taking me a minute to get this thing set up. They they just um, updated uh, Sim Toolkit Pro in a way that uh, deleted everything, which is why we also don't data today. Come on, why are you such a pain? Okay, we're just gonna fuck it. Uh, let's see. We're just gonna depart. Uh, zero, not one nine right. And we're just not going to take any. Then, oh my God, realize when I'm not on you. All right, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna try Yako. Fuck off, GPS primary. Okay, next waypoint. Go. Jethro. Aaron, put in. All right, so that's our departure. Our arrival, let's do. Zero five. I am Newberth. Okay, I think I found a bug for you guys at, <laughs> at Fly by Wire Sim. I'll have to report that at some point. All right, so means. Odin. After Odin, we're gonna go direct F. On.
4109 point. There it is. Yeah. Edge. I mean, it's kind of working sometimes. Other times it's just not. Edge, okay, which one are we going to? Do? One, one. Both the same. Such a pain in the ass. Very. Really not liking having to do all this twice. This is what I mean when I keep coming back to X-Plane 11 being superior. It's not because X-Plane is just better at everything and fuck everything else. No, it's because it works the first time. Alright, so... Look, A-N-O-O-K... Again, I was like, they're a delete, they change it. You don't want to listen to me clicking either of these buttons. So five, no star, addition. Put anything in. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want any of this in there. I mean, I can appreciate that this button is so well animated, but it would help if it actually did the thing when I pressed it. Um, hmm. Well, we're just going to have to ignore this Zygem Dolpa nonsense. Just put all of our approach before that, and then we'll disconnect the autopilot, because that's what we're going to have to. Uh, so, we're going from query to nook. K-N-O-O-K. -O -O Save. Not. Hook. Okay. Take. 
There you go. Fuck is her bell. This is a lot faster and easier in x -Plane. I really should have just done this already. Uh, I should not have trusted this to something that I could do in MFS. Okay, from Urbel, we're going to Nuber and you be. And you're gonna not have taken. There's her. Okay. Is it bot? Then it's not going to take. Now it will. All right from Ikbot, we're going to Ilani. It's gonna be. This is gonna be two thirds of the stream today. Oh wow, two didn't make it. Honey. Gonna work today? Nope. We're definitely not gonna work today. It just does not want to take. Look at this in plan mode. Like bot. You know what? I'm I'm good with that. That's close enough. That'll work. It's not what I'm ready for, but it, it'll work. Heck it. We're good enough. Enough for government work. All right, let's get back in it. All right, dual level is two thousand two hundred. Thousand four hundred. Thousand five hundred and eighty. Twenty five eighty. Oh, no, that's in gallons. It doesn't want it in gallons. It wants it in pounds. Ah. Uh, okay. Calculate this. I'm too stressed from seventeen point two. I don't know what I'm I'm not. Gonna fuck. I'm, I'm ready to just fly the damn plane. <laughs> Ooh, slash up. All right. Fuck it. Close enough. Enough for government work. Done. 
get my checklist back open. That's managed to close down on me while I'm fighting with X or with uh, Microsoft Flight. All right, let's get this ball rolling, shall we? All right, so that's pre-flight procedures down to McDo. All right, altimeter should be set. Uh, it's the old-fashioned way. Okay. I'm also going to make sure that this is on live weather. Everything should be live. All right. Pressure. This is in heck to pass. You know what? We can handle that probably 13, can we? We can, yes! Yes! Why, Microsoft, might, maybe you can explain this, Microsoft. Why in the hell? Why in the sugar-coated, deep-fried hell are you measuring fuel in gallons or pounds, both of which are... Imperial units when <laughs> you're measuring the altimeter in hectopascals, which is metric. Like this is this is a European standard, whereas uh, th th and and this is European. This is displaying in kilograms, and it's displaying properly in kilograms. But if if you had it correct. Like, all you're loading here is is in... No, that's that's cameras. All you're loading here is in gallons or pounds. And that's an American standard. And that's why, pretty much worldwide, most places, to the best of my knowledge, all of them use kilograms now. Anyway, flight directors, both on... Speed heading dashed. We're gonna set this to three five zero because that's how high we're flying. Not gonna worry about procedures today because we've got other things to worry about. Anti skid and nose wheel steering is on. Switching panel all normal. Transponder sets squawk. Not gonna really gonna worry about that today. Uh, beacon set on, and then we're going to request. I have to talk to ATC. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Alright, so we're departing from up here. We need um, go ahead and release our parking brake, which it doesn't tell us to do. It doesn't tell us when they're hooked up and ready. Right now we're gonna ask to steer to the right. International ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the right. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Now we need a International break. ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray three two zero request. Having to just guess when to say things because it just keeps going and. Uh, we're just gonna push back stop. International ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero requesting the end of pushback. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero request to end pushback received. Turn on our parking brake. Make sure this. He should be gone now. Um, now he can keep doing the thing that I have to funk, focus too much on the goddamn pushback to be able to do during pushback like I do in X-Plane. Let's get these uh, engines fired up, shall we? All right, engine two starting now.
going to wait for about 15, 20% on N2 ro uh, N1 rotation. And I'm going to turn off the ringer on my phone because it showed up when it definitely shouldn't have. Now, once we get past 15%, I think I'm going to say fuck it, close enough for government work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Engine 1, starting now. Hydraulic PTU is engaged. Giving me power to both sides of the aircraft. You can hear that barking going on. Now we can get to the fun part, which is actually flying the fucking plane. We've been on uh, online for like 45 minutes. Now uh, 40 minutes anyway. In stop. Oh, I wish this thing worked more like X-Plane, then it would actually be functional. I mean, maybe I just need to learn to work with its particular idiosyncrasy. But reason why idiosyncrasy starts with it. And it might not, but close enough for government work. All right, AP bleed off. Set this flaps position two. Light controls should be good. Trim, APU master off. Taxi lights on. Wonder. I turn off my parking brakes with my tow brakes. I absolutely might set my trigger to parking brake. Let's start this thing moving, elapsed time, run. I may should be on nav and climb here. Should be set max. One, move. Lane. We're going now. This is my first time really steering a taxi with my. Uh, rudder pedals. Going a little fast. It's really hard to get this thing moving, but once it does, it goes quick. Alright, so we need to check our cabin calls. Thing moving because we got to get to the end of a you know 8,000 foot runway. Drop 
struggling a little bit with this dead zone. It maybe set a little high. Ooh. That is a spicy taxi. Break just at the Still not used to kind of the way that uh, hearing with the rudder pedals works. I may have to disconnect. Well, no. Um, yeah, because there's the tiller. So I don't think the actual aircraft steers the nose wheel with the pedals, does it? it down a little bit because we have to make a left turn. We're about to run out of taxiway. Alright guys, if I'm a little quiet, it's because I'm not really confident with what I'm doing. I'm trying real hard not to fuck it up. What those lines are. Somebody will have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get with somebody to find out whether or not the uh, taxi controls the the nose wheel steering is tied to the rudder pedal. If not, it would probably be easier for me to use the rocker on the back of my throttle. Oh, down. This puppy slowed down just a little bit. so weird to be controlling the throttle with my hand in the direction with my feet as as a driver this is very counterintuitive to me one more one more Come on, move Now we're stopped. All right, to be ready to go, we just need to start our chrono. Set throttle fifty percent. Stabilize. Flex. Release.
Uh, 700 feet, positive rate, gear up. Checked, flaps one. Autopilot. Uh, autopilot. That's alpha floor. Alpha floor, you're gonna stall. I don't know why this autopilot wants to kill me, but it's definitely trying. It is definitely trying. Alright, so now we should be... Heels up, flaps clean. Break. Engaged. Turn off our nose wheel lights and runway turn off lights. Oh, don't crash. Okay. Ooh! I was gonna say, I did a whole test flight. And everything went fine. <laughs> Alright. Outstar? Wait. What? Should not be holding altitude. We're 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 heading to thirty-five thousand. Not five thousand. There we are. Open climb. Woo. All right, now let's see how this thing handles getting on the line, which is to say it's not going to. Because autopilot in Microsoft Flight is absolutely terrible. It, it's just not working. And that's okay. <laughs> Honestly, let's, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, this is just me being dead honest. I'm not. I'm. I'm not telling you anything. Just to blow smoke up your eye. Okay. So this is how. This is why I pl I I fly in MFS. I fly in MFS because uh, that's the goal I need to chase right. Now. Because that's the trend, right? That's why I'm flying it. It's not good. It's getting better. Um, well, let's be clear. Aircraft are getting better. Simulator has taken a big step back. I mean, I increased the quality level of my animation, or of my, my, uh... What's the anti jaggies Ah! Uh, I, I've increased my graphic settings, but I, I still get these really jaggy shadows. Um... This all looks very grainy. So does this. This looks terrible. I mean, I honestly think I prefer how it looks in X-Plane. I think it actually looks better in X-Plane. Um, live weather still doesn't seem to work. I mean, supposed to have clouds here, but I sees no clouds. Camera system, I haven't really gotten a chance to check it, but... I mean, rotating around the aircraft is a little bit easier now, but I don't want to be in this mode where I can see the outside. Yeah, see, here's the problem. Now I'm...
thing. Turn the view. Nothing zooms me in or out. Do I have cameras at least? Oh, these are all externals. Like some of these are good good shots. You know, this is a great shot if it weren't for this overlay. Can I can I just shut off the overlay somehow? I just want to get rid of this. Like put me in a drone camera right where I'm at. But that doesn't work. It'll it'll throw me in a drone camera at the back because that's where the drone is. I mean, may, maybe this is just I need to get used to the to the way that they do things rather than trying to make it work the way I want it to. But uh, just not for me, man. And then this is a great view, but I can't move it. And I can't get rid of the UI, so I can't take screenshots. It's beautiful for taking screenshots. Unfortunately, there's all this junk in the way that I can't get rid of. I could maybe figure out eventually how to control the drone camera enough to get the drone here. But what's the point? Why can't I just have this and just say, hey, make me a drone so that all this goes away? Or just, hey, let me hit a button that says, hey, make the UI go away. And scroll lock <laughs> opens ATs. How much sense does that make? Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Button to hide the UI. Yeah, see? <laughs> and this doesn't even do it. Like, I'm I'm just reading. Insert is supposed to switch you into drone mode and uh, hide the UI. And that that is definitely not what just happened. The UI is still here. All of these are locked. I can't turn any of this off. like Microsoft get rid of all this shit it's not helpful for those of us who are actual simulators like look if 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 I was just if, if I was coming from ace combat this would look fantastic coming from X plane where I'm trying to actually simulate flying the plane this is garbage it is useless to me and I hate it I hate everything about it Get all the shit. Why is it not custom? Like, I understand. If you want to have it so that you can you can get the game player. But guess what? I'm not a game player. I'm a simulator. I'm an av geek. Let me choose to hide all this. I'm not saying don't make it an option. I'm saying don't make it mandatory. And if it's not functioning as intended, fix it. That's the same thing I keep trying to say about everything in this sim. There's so much broken, and I I just needed you to work. It's all I needed you to do. If you just worked, if, if Microsoft Flight Sim just worked, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it right now. This is, this is where I come back to, like I said, being completely and totally honest with you guys. If Microsoft Flight Sim just worked, right? It would blow X-Plane out of the water. I would be flying this every day day I mean this a320 is beautiful everything about it is gorgeous 
have to shit on it didn't work and it took the fly by wire simulations team to fix it for you but they've done so in a matter of a couple of months in what four or five months and the fly by wire team has almost fixed it to where I, th I think probably 90 95 percent of the controls on this plane actually function Autopilot's still garbage, but I think that's a Sobo's fault. I don't think there's anything they can do to touch it. Drink here. But all it had to do was work, and it would have ended the last generation of flight to me. It would have ended it. There's, there's no way. Nobody would have survived it. Need to make a meme where MFS is the airheaded blonde with amazing looks, but dumber than a bag of rocks. Here's the thing, though. Look at this. You see how grainy this is. It didn't used to be. It used to be super sharp. I could read it just fine from here, no problems. Now, this is a little grainy. And I have to zoom all the way in to get some of it to show. Same goes here. See how this is hazed? All of this is haze. Either they've they've added some kind of a filter to make this more hazy and 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 uh, hard to see, or my co-pilot is just hotboxing the entire flight deck. Yeah, that's 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 what it seems. Is that's exactly what it seems like they did? Is they sent out a down date. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, I would rather have it look like shit like this than what it was doing a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, the sim was crashing constantly for no reason. Um, also, there was a problem where even with the smart camera off, if you flew close enough to a point of interest, the point of interest would just grab your camera and yoink it over and you'd get stuck staring at this point of interest with no ability to look back forward, no ability to see the controls, nothing. You just, you're stuck staring at this point of interest. Like I was watching somebody flying in Japan because it was the Japan update, and they were just staring at Mount Fu trying to land, but of course you can't because you can't see the fucking runway. Like your only hope is that the plane will somehow figure out how to land on its own even though you have to hit things on, on the... Uh, on, on, on the, um, what's this called up here? God damn it. Gotta look this up now, because I'm forgetting things. I haven't flown this. Uh, FCU. On the FC. Oh, wait. We are way, way, way high. I can move these now. Turn off the seat belts. That's something I couldn't do without the, the fly-by-wire simulations update, upgrade. Um, what's the other thing I need to set standard? Seemingly baffled by Microsoft's amazing capability to break things never thought could be broken. True, but I don't think this is entirely Microsoft's fault, considering the fact that the developer is a Sobo. I think I think we're getting a Soboned. I think that's what's going on. I think a Sobo is inept and doesn't know what they're doing. And I think they have the best of intentions, but they don't have the skills to back up those intentions. Um, that's that's just my thought, is Microsoft threw a Sobo a bone, and they didn't know how to do what they, what they wanted to do. They managed to make something that looked great, but then in order to make it work, they had to downgrade the graphics. They were unaware of the fact that you can't actually do that. Because if you do, then people get pissed. Really pissed. Also, hello, uh, wifey. And thank you for 
donating more bombs to make me fly without my HOTUS. Why do you do this? I love you guys, but why are you why are you so intent on making me fly without my HOTUS? I like my HOTUS. Uh, so fair, but I cannot give him, uh, Microsoft a pass for not actually spot checking. I mean, it's entirely possible that they are. It's just a Sobo can only do so much so fast. You do this because you love me. I appreciate that a lot. Um. Oh, um, also, while I've got you guys here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna constantly run in this mode. But, I'm going to real quick swap you guys over to look at daytime, or the uh, AFK screen. Unfortunately, I need to reevaluate some things because apparently my second monitor is not 1920 by 1080 it's some weird, super tall version. I'm not sure exactly what its dimensions are, but its aspect ratio is heckin' different. So, since it doesn't fit into the uh, 1920 by 1080 format, I can't make it work properly. It doesn't fit the frame. <laughs> so I have to redo my videos there, but oh well. I also don't give them a pass for breaking things that worked perfectly in every f Microsoft sim for the past 30 years. That I don't know much about. I, I The first time I really played with Microsoft Flight was in... Uh, so I've played three three versions of Microsoft Flight Sim. This one, uh, FSX, which was mm, not sophisticated, we'll put it that way. Um, by the time I got into Flight Sims, uh, X Plane was already around and it was great and it was vastly superior to FSX, even just just off of the back of the fact that it had curved runway. That alone was enough to say FSX is... Um, but then the third one that I played was the Dovetail Games Microsoft Flight, which was not realistic in any way whatsoever, uh, but I did enjoy it. I flew Icon A5 a lot. And then they decided to the, to shut down games for Windows Live, and suddenly this game that I had just paid money to get the uh, Alaska update uh, stopped working. I couldn't run it anymore, and that that towered me to Microsoft for a very, very, very long time, and I don't think I will ever fully get over it. Um, that's that's where that is. I'm, I'm not... <clears throat> However, I think I do want to try... Uh, yeah, if there was any justice in this mess, people bought that Steam file at this sim for free. I'm, are you trying to punish Microsoft or the people who bought the original Dovetail game? Is not being very clear there. I'm gonna try and do this. We're gonna we're gonna explore this while we're at cruise, right? Well, I mean, people who bought into flight only to have it shut down. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm still saying. Like, who are you trying to punish? Because I feel like you're trying to punish me, the, the, the game, like, the, the person who bought it. Because this is, this is pretty difficult to deal with right now. And, okay.
Uh, fair. There should been no cost to buy into the. Not yet. There will be. Okay. So we're gonna try to do this. Um, watch your battle on the right to get started. Viewers can join you and place a unit every five minutes. While watching your stream placement ends after thirty minutes. Okay. So if you guys want to go to Stream Captain, uh, I can figure out. I gotta, f I gotta figure out real quick. I'm gonna log in. Optional overlay and dot set up three first battle. I want to send you guys a link here. I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> oh. So complicated one. For tools. That could be it. Okay, so I need this. See, this is the thing. I can't do the. I can't try this stuff without. Um, can't try this stuff without on stream. How's your soul? There we go. I what? There we go. Uh, that, okay. Let's keep going through here. Okay, enable chat bot. Click to enable. Oh, it will provide a link. Paddles. I will when I can. Uh, start a paddle and go to. Tell your viewers to join on streamraiders.com. They log in their Twitch. Select me as their captain and. That sounds. There, streamlined. All right. So there should be a. So you guys should go to streamraiders.com.
and then sign up and then sign up there just log in with your twitch and then you can join this battle with me um if you guys are ready let me know and then i'll start the fight and hopefully there should be a bot here maybe possibly uh let's see you chat Be a bot. Uh, the bot will provide a link to. Uh, ready, Ed. Back is. Bot is. Out or mute by my thoughts. Best way to make what message the type. That's a good plan. I'm gonna go ahead and uh wait, can't band are muted. Not moderators, but you what you employ in order to get it's All right. Oh, are you guys, you guys uh, joined up, or do you not want to do this? I'm gonna try and put it on here. It's just something fun to do while we're at cruise. Um, I've been looking into this, and it seems kind of fun. Well, let's 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 give this a test. I might fail, but let's give it a test. Okay. Go ahead and start battle. Hey, Stream Captain Bot. There we go. Now you can just click that that button down there, and that will join my team. Uh, let's put my captain right. So if you guys want to jump in and oh. Okay, interesting. Um, so if you guys want to join there and help me out, that'd be very much appreciated. Um, and like, yeah, the overlay is working, and it's showing that it's going to be about a half an hour. You can place a new unit every five minutes, and it will give you a countdown. You can play it right in your browser, or you can play it on a tablet or a mobile device. You don't have to have it up on your computer. No big deal. I, however, cannot place a new uh, piece every five minutes. That's on you guys and you guys only. So if we're going to win, on you guys. <laughs> That's kind of why they didn't want to um, allow smaller streamers like me to use it for the longest time. Like, I've been looking at this for a while because it seems to work really well with my stream. Uh, given the fact that a lot of my stream is not, shall we say... Uh, as gripping and visually interesting. What? Why is this self-test running again? I just accidentally dimmed it too. This down a notch. He's down. Are you self-testing again? God damn it. And these... The lighting here is amazing. All these reflections. Damn it. Close as I can go. Alright. So... We're mostly configured. One more notch. Uh, I would like these to be able to dim down more, but apparently I can't. But yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind helping me out with this battle here, um, it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it is just a uh, 
It is just a tutorial round. But uh, I would still very much like the help. If you guys have the time, the effort, the energy. But in the meantime, we are flying this A320 from Kansas City to uh, Toronto. Hopefully that is interesting to watch. Also, we have uh, channel points down there. I have a few custom things set up. Let me know if there's anything you want to see down there. Um, I don't know, impressions or... or I, I don't know. I've, I've seen a lot of weird stuff. Just let me know. Right now, what I've got in there that's customized, you can, you can obviously unlock my emotes even if you aren't subscribed, um, because I only have one emote at the moment. Um, you can choose to... Uh, Um, you can choose to, there's one also to make me get a drink of water. There's one to make me stretch my legs. Uh, obviously you guys have found the one that makes me fly with no HOTUS. But that's a community goal. You guys are going to have to work up a lot of points amongst all of you to be able to make me do that. At least that's the hope. I would really like for you guys to have to work at it just a little bit. Um, and you know what I'm just realizing? Just before stream, I set my vaporizer up, turned it on, and refilled my bottle for vaporizer water. Totally forgot to put any drops in it. <laughs> I told you, I was a little flustered when I started my stream today. I was running. It didn't, I don't like running late, so uh, a lot of things got a little screwy, and it continued on even into the stream. You guys saw me try to uh, program the McDo. It didn't work all that well. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have never been here before, welcome to the stream. My name is Iraq Attack. Uh, I know my name is spelled a little funky, but guess what? Somebody. Uh, so I used to have a hard to remember, hard to, to say name that was very similar to this one. Somebody kept mistaking it for Iraq Attack, and then when I decided to start streaming, I wanted to switch to a rack attack, but somebody already had a rack attack. So we all know we're all gamers. We know ATK means attack. So a rack attack is my name. That's how the name came to be. Um, and I do flight sims every Tuesday. I do other games every uh, Wednesday and Friday. Although I'm I'm thinking of switching that to Thursday and Saturday. I'm not old on it yet but it's something I'm thinking um, turn all my weather systems on um, but yeah I generally stream at 5 p.m. central to 7 p.m. central um, except on Fridays where I tend to do it earlier because I can because I'm off work already at so um, I generally have from 2 until 4 or 5. Lately, I've been playing Mega Man X. Well, Mega Man X most recent. Uh, on my Wednesday and Friday stream, I do have uh, Mega Man X 1 through 4 through the Mega Man Classic Collection. Um, the Mega Man X Classic Collection that I got on Steam. Uh, so that is... That is my current off game. It's not something that I'm going to exclusively. I have been looking at doing some Among Us. Oh, I got to stretch. All right, let me move my microphone here so that you guys don't lose me on stretching. Boy. And I am just old enough that this actually very much necessary. Um, and just so you guys know, I don't redeem stretch or any of those things where I have to, you know, functionally do things while I'm in the middle of either takeoff or rain. But I will do them just as soon as 
I have finished with those proceedings. Oh. All right. Put this back. All right. Points. I don't have a points command. What kind of what kind of point? Oh, uh, you're thinking of the the chat bot, which I don't have. Oh my god. I forgot a thing. Let me turn the bot back on. I knew I was forgetting something. I told you I was running late. I got flustered. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hadn't turned it on yet. It's on its way. It's it's on its way. No, no, no. I, it's always off until I get ready to stream. So if I forget things, I forget and, and it just doesn't get... I, I didn't turn it off. I just didn't turn it on. It kind of amounts to the same thing, but... It's on its way. It's loading right now. About 80% done. Okay. It should be there now. Okay. It says it's successfully connected. You should be able to run your commands now. I... Oh, yes. I have a great memory. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean that nobody got um, bot points for the last, like, half an hour. The last hour and a half? Hour and a half. But, um, I hope you guys can forgive me. I am so sorry. Yeah, we are currently running Stream Raiders. Um, as one of. Colonel O'Neill, what the hell are you doing? I am sharing information about Stream Raiders that you guys can join me in a battle and do things together with me. Um,. And I would very much appreciate you guys' help, because I don't think I'm going to win without it. So, um, basically what you do is you join in, and uh, you'll place one of... I, I think when you if you've never done Stream Raiders before, you'll be able to place one of three types of units, I think, which is uh, ranged, you got an archer, you got a tank, and you've got a warrior. Uh, the warrior is physical melee, and the archer is ranged... Uh, there are a bunch of different ones that you can unlock, either through um, scrolls that drop after battles. Uh, you can place a new unit every five minutes. Um, and basically, you guys just filter in all these things into, in, into Stream Raiders, and you place them in the area that's highlighted, and then... Um, when we're ready, when that timer count, counts all the way down, I'll start the fight, and we'll run in and try to kill things. And uh, hopefully we will kill all of them. You guys get some loot. I get some loot, and I'll give you guys coins. The coins and the coins and scrolls to help unlock or upgrade your units. So that when you place them, they are more powerful, or you have the option of more units. Um... Hopefully it's a fun thing that you guys can in, in, can engage with and interact with while we're streaming. Uh, especially like at Cruise where there's not a lot to do. Um, and there may not even be a whole lot to see. Especially like right now, we're flying mostly in the dark. I mean, there's an absolute... But um, we're flying mostly in the dark. And there's not a lot to see here. So, although beautiful, there's only so much I can do, and it doesn't change all that often. But this is something that you guys can take and can, can, can actually take part in something with me. And I like the idea of that. I like doing things with you guys. I don't want to just... Where are we flying to? Oh, you're going to love this. We're flying to Toronto. We are, we are catching the red eye. Well, it's not the red eye. We, left, we, we just left in the evening. Uh, from... Uh, KMCI, and we're going to uh, Toronto. Yeah, we, we left from KG, and we're pulling in at Pearson probably here in about an hour? I don't know. I don't know what our estimated time on route is. Um, I 
Uh, oh, so maybe an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it's 23 4. Okay. At that camera, because moving it at all, there's for the control to unmove it. Yeah, we, we left from KG. We're going to Pearson. And that'll probably be it for the night for us because uh, it took me 45 minutes to set up the fucking McDo. There was a bunch of stuff that just did not work. Hey, somebody joined. This, this is Sam's Angel. Wafy, Wafy is going to help me fight. So right now, we'll probably be eating most ranged and uh, physical melee because I've got an epic uh, tank on the field. But yeah, every five minutes you'll be able to place another unit. You can play it on your tablet, you can play it on your phone, you can play it on a uh, laptop, computer, doesn't matter. You can play anywhere you like. Um, fully optimized and everything. So, um, feel free going in any fashion you want just place units and we'll try and win and when we win we'll get coins i'll give you guys coins you guys give and and uh, i get coins and then i give you most of the coin um and then we all get some some loot we get some scrolls to hopefully help us summon new uh new unit types um some of the unit types depending on their rarity their ability will have different abilities to place them, so you may not be able to place them every, every... Not every unit can be placed every five minutes, but you will be able to place a unit every five minutes. I think the common units can be placed every ten minutes. So, um, you can place one every five minutes, but you have to change which one you, you place. So, like, this time you place... What is this? A warrior? So next time you'll have to place either a tank or an archer. Right? Because your cooldown on the warrior won't be up yet. Uh, but then you can just like switch back and forth, you know, warrior, archer, warrior, archer, warrior, archer. And I've got some of them that've got like a, an hour cooldown or a day cooldown. I've got some, I don't have them on this account because this is my streamer account. Um, on my other account, which is my, my viewer account, I have much more. Um, I don't think I can join my own battles. That would be nice. <laughs> this is just a tutorial battle, so we'll probably win it either way. But I felt like maybe this would be something fun for us to just throw up every once in a while and do while we're at cruise. You know, should be able to get maybe one or two of these time with cruise. Um, and it's something that I can just set and forget. I can, I can throw it up. You guys can, uh, join as you wish, as you will. And then, um, you know, when, when it's ready, I'll just hit start. And if we happen to be in the middle of descent or the middle of takeoff, we'll just wait to start it until after we land. So I'm hoping maybe this will help to kind of spice up the stream just a little bit and make it a little more interesting for you guys. Um, also, we have rudder pedals. We've been waiting for those for like uh, two months. So I've got tow brakes, I've got rudder pedals, I've got my tiller, I'm, I'm good to go. Um, I still would like a more sophisticated HOTUS, but that's, that's a long-term project. Hopefully I will get there at some point, but that point is not today. However, you may notice we do have a, uh, donation goal down below the stream. I don't expect anybody to give to it. Uh, if you guys don't have money, don't give to it. 
begging you to not screw with your own finances in order to give me money. But it's a relatively reasonable goal. It's it's a total of, I think, like $90. Um, anything that you guys put in there goes towards getting me a one-year subscription in Avigraph. That should help me with all of these problems that I'm having where the uh, don't want to work with me. Where they there's mismatches navigation data that I have in Simbri, in uh, Sim Toolkit Pro, and in my simulators. Uh, so that's why I threw that up. I don't expect anybody to do anything with it, but if you very much appreciate it, I love you guys so, so much, and I do hope that uh, you don't think I'm just trying to milk you. Definitely not. Mostly I just do this for fun. Um, I would like to be more successful. If you know anybody who's into aviation or into classic retro games, game styles, a couple platformers, but more like RPG, then share the channel. Um, that's the best thing that you can do to help me. Um, that's the best thing you can do is share the channel. And it doesn't cost you a dime. It doesn't cost you anything. Just let your friends know. I do this every Tuesday and Wednesday. And then from 2 to 4 on Fridays. Uh, my schedule is down below my stream. There's a countdown. Uh, it may not tell you anything right now because I'm live. But it will definitely tell you after I end the stream. Uh, what, times really, uh, what times I'm usually live in your local time zone. <clears throat> So, I would very much appreciate that. If you also, if you happen to be in any communities that are aviation themed or uh, into retro games like uh, Mega Man or uh, I've also done Final Fantasy 7, I've done Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 4, done um, the Mana, Trials of Mana, Crosscode. Uh, if you know anybody who's into like that, uh, in any any street, any cities, let me know um, and let them know. Like I, I would love to start networking some more and get to know people that are like. Um, I'd love to work together with some, maybe to to create content and uh, help you guys to have a more entertaining experience online like that's that's ultimately what i'm here for i'm here to enter and that's that's really what i want to do is is i want to entertain you guys i want to have fun and i want you guys to have um if i happen to make some money along the way i'm, I'm i'll be happy for um, but I'm I'm not anticipating. So don't don't think that that, that that's why I do things like posting donation goals. Honestly, that's just in case somebody wants to if, if they want to see something a little more sophisticated out of me. That's a good way to get it. That's that's all it is. <clears throat> um. I just want you guys to have fun. That's that's really where my thought process is. Have fun. Honestly, I never thought I'd get to where I am now. Which is amazing, right? <laughs> like, I've got four viewers right now. That's not very high to climb, but... I don't just have four viewers. I'm also an affiliate. I never thought I'd be an affiliate. Uh, I never thought I'd have emotes. I, I never thought anybody would ever sub to me. But I have sub. New you Please. Hey, Sam. Thank you so much. It's three units. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to win, I hope. Um... Sorry, yeah, I'm having to look at most of this stuff on my own overlay because I don't know what it is. 
have time to place one more before the battle. Yes. Um, on my end, you have 50 seconds now. Or 50... 50 seconds. 6 minutes and 50 seconds. Now, now it's 6 minutes, 40 seconds now. But of course, there's a little bit of a delay. Probably 3 to 5 seconds, but as long as it's more than 5 minutes, you'll still have enough time for one more. And that way, our numbers are going to be roughly equal to the enemy, but um, I have an epic on the field. You get epics by... Um, you collect potions. Potions you get um, one every time you place an, uh, 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 and then after the battle, you can receive them in chests as well. Under four minutes for the next one place. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> on enemy units to learn about their strengths. Explosive undead unit. Oh! Oh, that's a dude that's gonna run and. That sucks. One of the bulletin. Warrior. Warrior. Skeleton spear throw. Here be okay. We'll be here. At least I hope so. Um. Yeah, the number one thing that you can do to help the stream, share it. Just let people know. Um. Let people know that you're doing it. Uh, that I'm here. Let people know that. I'm funny. If you think that I am funny, if you don't think I'm funny, then uh, fuck you. Get out of my stream. No, I'm kidding. Um, if you don't think I'm funny, then tell me. <laughs> tell me that's not that that's not what I'm good at. Tell me that that I need to stay stay in my wheelhouse. You know, that's fine. I'm I'm not gonna be mad that somebody doesn't think I'm funny. So um, <clears throat> yeah, just. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me stream or see on the stream. Let me know if you think that um, if you know somebody that I can network with. Let me know. Uh, I'm here for you guys. That's that's what this is all about. I'm here for you. This isn't about me. This isn't my stream. Your stream. I could stop and do all this stuff all on my own, no problem. You know, I do this stuff because I want you to be a part of it. I want to help you guys. I want to entertain you. I want to have fun with you. Alright, I'm just getting ready for the upcoming battle. I'm girding my lines. Not that my loins were ungirded before, I'm definitely wearing pants. I might be the only streamer you've ever met that's wearing pants, but you can't see it because I don't have my webcam. So you're just going to have to take my word for it, my, my loins are girded, they are just now more girded as I am getting ready for this fight. Make sure to gore heard my lions heard my lions I had to read that like four times <laughs> heard of my lions too just to be safe see now here's the problem I don't think if my lions were girded that I would be very safe I think if my lions were girded they would kill me that's just my personal opinion I don't feel like that would go my direction Uh, so I would prefer ungirded lions, but um, you can always get lions secondhand. My favorite movies of all time. Um, right up there with like Princess Bride. I mean, let's be honest. I'm gonna put it in, in in up up there with a lot of really bad movies. I'm not watching the battle, but I'm picturing lions in armor. 
No, 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 no. There's no lines. There's, there's it's all skeleton dudes. Um, all the people on our side. I've got. We've got one tank. One. We've got one, two tanks. Two. Uh, we've got two tanks, an archer, and a uh, warrior. So, uh, but you could join the battle, and you could. See But you've only got uh, about a minute, minute and a half to join up and throw in for any stuff. Um. It ain't. There we go. Okay, now we got it. That's gonna. Okay, we got 30 seconds left. Dudley's still working for a bit. I'm reading some massive PowerPoint. Oh no, not PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Battle is ready. Let me go ahead and switch the so you get as Alright, let's go ahead and start this battle. Zoom it out a bit. That we can going on. Let's zoom in on where okay, start battle. Okay, so apparently you can just walk right over those spikes in the middle. I didn't know that. Come on, wifey! Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. We won. Victory, what's inside? Open the chest. All right. One viewer gets three rogue scrolls. Uh, at wifey? And then let's see. Uh, more rewards for viewer. Perfect. Print rewards. And then back to map. And now we can start the next map. I'm going to throw this... I'm going to leave it up just while I figure this out. Uh, let's collect my 200 coins. And for you, bronze heroic centurions. Beautiful. All right, so now. Orcs have challenged me to a get a silver chest. Good chance of uncommon scrolls and seven plus gold drops. All right, let's get this started. Let's see, I'm going to throw in Epic Warrior over here. Let's go ahead and throw my Epic Warrior right here. All right, and now it's up to you guys. You can place a new piece every five minutes. Should be able to put a maximum of six on the on the field, I think. Maybe five. Um, that's the one. Okay, it looks like we're actually getting close to our top of descent. Gonna scream at me for anything? Oh. 
And I love the lighting. The lighting system in this is amazing. What is the Metar? All right. I'll timber three, I'll two nine. Is ten twenty five. Temperature is ten degrees. Wind is seventy at six. feet the decision height trans out to be 18,000 as always what this to me All right so that's arrivals performance approach don't worry about wind altitude we're gonna set to Four thousand. Let me back open so I can see you guys. Singing razors. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate you dropping by. Um, hey, we are flying. Oh, I've still got. That open. <laughs> Today we are flying to Toronto. We are playing some Stream Raiders in the background. You guys can place units anytime you like. Just hit the uh, the link that's in this informational post. Uh, sign up with your uh, link, your Twitch account, and you'll be able to just play stuff. I did nothing to make you that. I have not said anything about it. I do know that I, I did go to some pretty extensive lengths back in the day to make sure that I myself am, am associated with the game. But um, all of you have now lost, by the way. But yes, it's me. It's me and it's you. It has been a hot minute. Um... <laughs> Yes, I, I, I did plenty back in the day. I have done nothing in years, which should only speak to the efficacy of my, uh, of, of my methods. Uh, that I can still, many years later, make you lose the game without saying a word. But I am glad that you came by, even if it was just to tell me that you lost the game. Um, hopefully, uh, look, at the, like, look at this background. Like All this stuff, I made it. I made all the things that you see on the screen, except for the the maps thing, Raiders thing, and the uh, the the game itself. Um, I'm learning things, and I'm getting better. But um, but yeah, so it's been a while. I don't I I don't want to make you say anything that you're not comfortable with on stream. We need to actually start descending. Um, but I hope everything is going going well. Finally on here, uh, so I need to follow my friends. Yes, you do. Um, I think you were on here a while ago, weren't you? Like it's been a hot minute, but I think I've seen you here before. I could be wrong though. I could definitely be wrong. Um, 
But yeah, I definitely appreciate the follow, and I hope that you come back sometimes. I, I like to play games like this. I, I do Flight Simulation, then I also, uh, like, classic RPG style or um, other classic retro game. Like, lately I've been playing Mega Man X, Mega Man X2. Uh, head is still iffy. I've been fighting that for so long. I really hope that, that something gives there. Gotta. But I'm glad that you're doing well. Uh, I'm myself, I'm doing very well, cons all things considered. Um, I have. I, I, I have managed narrowly to avoid have, uh, uh, losing my job, although. I will say that narrowly also means that I barely do have one. Um, so I'm doing my best there. Um, or uh, I've I've managed to get a copy of my um, my social security card because I can't find that, which is a bad thing. But um, definitely missing wifey. Uh, wifey might be AFK at the moment. She might be back. I'm not sure. But um, definitely missing her because of the Ronas has prevented us from uh, having any time together this year. It sucks, the big one. Um, but it is what it is, and we're getting through it. Uh, we'll be all right. Hopefully, she'll be able to move down here, and then we won't have to worry about flying across international borders for spend time together that's that's the end goal uh because i i do actually have a real girlfriend that lives in canada only i put a ring on it and we're married so she's my wife um rona is why i haven't been, yeah yeah um i do remember there was a friend of mine that had plans to go and visit some other friends of mine across country uh, just before the lockdowns happened. And they decided to go ahead and do that. And they did cross-country driving because they thought it was safer. And I'm like, really? You think it's safer to drive across the country and refuel at like a dozen probably more than a you're, you're probably looking at about two dozen different gas stations where people hundreds of people touch the pumps every day rather than flying in an airplane that is sanitized between flights and at most has like a hundred people in it like okay i mean i would have chosen to just stay home if i was you but i get it <laughs> yeah i've got a real wife that lives in canada real canada not fake canada um, that makes me honorary Canadian. Although I'm not actual Canadian, I don't I don't get dual citizenship. That's unfortunate. But that's why we're flying. Today today we're flying to uh, Canada. We flew from KMCI, where I'm from, to uh, CYYZ. That's uh, Toronto Pearson. That's where my wife lives, roughly. Uh, give or take a couple hours drive. Um... So that, that gives you some idea, like, that I just, I needed a place to fly. I didn't know where I was going to fly today. Didn't have a plan, so I just decided, you know what? Let's fly an old sector. Let's, let's, let's go see the wife. Right? That's what we're doing today. We're going to see the wife. Uh, and we're bringing the wife on board, which is an interesting uh, conundrum of how we're going to see the wife, but we're bringing the wife to the wife. Basically, it looks, uh... Looks like touch isn't a spread vector, so masks and social distancing should make driving less risky. For the most part, yeah, and and especially given how quickly the, the virus tends to break down in UV light, um, gas pumps that are outside are relatively safe. Um, so that's, that's not really uh, a concern, but at the time we didn't know that. Um, at the time that I was telling my friends this, we didn't know that, and it was, because this was, like, March. This, this was when, just before the lockdown slammed in. Yeah, this is all stuff we know now, and, and all the, all the data keeps changing, and 
Unlike, there's there's a lot of people who say, oh, well, the data keeps changing, so we shouldn't listen to the data. No, listen to the data. It's just, the data is obviously going to change because it's science. Science is right until it isn't, right? Like, the whole idea is that we operate on our best knowledge, like what we, what we know changes, and as what we know changes, what we say to do and what works and doesn't and what is and isn't dangerous changes. It doesn't mean that it's not... That, that, that it's not trustworthy, it just means every time that we change what we say, we're getting more and more accurate. We're gathering more and more data. So, you don't just ignore the science because it's been wrong so many times. Yes, it was wrong. Every, science said the world was flat until it didn't. Right? Like, the point is that over time, science gets more and more accurate the more we test something. And we have been testing coronavirus absolutely rigorously um luckily i am not yet like i'm on youtube but i'm not yet monetized on youtube so i don't have to worry about the demonetization when i say coronavirus uh so i can say that and i can still upload this and i don't have to worry about seeing that yellow coin symbol that tells me that i'm not making any more money on this ever Progress, not progress, performance. E approach 1025. Go ahead and 1025 is up, Iraq, because that's how numbers work. Welcome back, wifey. Thank you so much for uh, coming back. Um, as we all know, if you were gone and you might not come back, that's definitely uh, marble territory, and I hope you come back. Um, yeah, and yet flat earthers. Listen, <laughs> there's there's just a level of stupidity I'm not willing and ready to discuss on stream. We 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 take the piss out of a lot of dumb stuff. I'm not ready to take on that one. That's too dumb. Listen. <laughs> oh, I, those are the kind of people that buy ketchup, uh, ketchup popsicle. I'm, I'm just saying. Duty called, yeah. Um, how's that going, by the way? I mean, if you don't want to talk about it here, that's absolutely fine. You can always poke me after, after stream. Um, it just popped into my head. Yes, the dumb is strong with this. Oh. Have you guys ever seen the curve of the Earth? Yes, actually. Yes, you can see it if you go up on a mountain. Well, I've never been on a mountain. That sounds like a problem with you. It doesn't sound like a problem with the Earth. The Earth is round. Deal with it. It's funny how, like, all the scientific models for how the world works works totally fine first try with the with, with the spherical model but then they're like oh that's not how it is it's flat and they can't come up with one model that makes all the physical aspects of the world work <laughs> no 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 of you, you said it a little wrong it's it's the flat earthers facebook group with over a million a uh, million members all around the globe Tell the others hi for me, by the way. I will, as soon as I'm done with the, with the stream, which shouldn't be too long here. Uh, we are we are on descent. We're not quite into approach yet. We're still at 12,000 feet. Also, I've got my rudder pedals. I'm so happy. It took, it took two months for the goddamn postal service to get my rudder pedals here. I'm pissed. They lost it, and... and like they they missorted it or they lost it or something and then they tried to ex to to explain that it was because coronavirus so they were slow and then when I called back another week later they were like oh it was missorted and then they were like oh you need to see a couple a couple of weeks after that they were like oh you need to put in a request for missing mail missing mail immediately kicked it out and it started getting scanned again then they tried to deliver it and, and they updated it at the very end of the day, saying that it was undeliverable because they attempted, but they couldn't get access to the property. I'm like, we don't even have a fence. <laughs> the 
the front door is just there. <laughs> Our whole property has one fence and it only covers the backyard. Like, you absolutely had access to the place. So I call them and, and apparently they sent it out with the entire wrong route. Like, wow, it's just... Yeah, it, 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 waving to my sister in Toronto. Well, we're not we're not in Toronto yet. Where are we at? Uh, Query. Where is Query? Well, that doesn't help. I don't even know if we're actually in Canada yet. We might. I think I think we might still be around Cleveland. That, that corner is confusing. What what corner? One corner and then one. Well, yeah. The fact that so our our house is numbered for the 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 cross street. So like our our house faces the cross street. We're on a corner, right? And and we. I'm, am I over water? No, I don't think so. No. I'm over city. Um, but yeah, um, so for those of you that don't know, my house is numbered for the street that is to the side of my house, and the front of my house faces the cross street. It's really dumb. Yeah, well, it's still vague. It's still super vague. I mean, how many how many corners like that are in, you know, the Kansas City area? Yeah. Yeah, and 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 I appreciate you trying to be more vague than I am. Like because you don't know how vague I'm comfortable being. Turns out I'm pretty fucking comfortable. <laughs> I don't worry about it too much. Um I'm not big enough for people to worry about like sending me things. Um, but yeah, oh, is that the, uh, windmills? Hard to tell. Too dark. I could turn on the lights, but I kind of like the idea of landing at night. Especially since my first time, uh, arriving in Toronto was at night. So, I think that'll be, that'll be fun. I'm worried about people sending him things until I send him a card with sprinkles on it. Listen. With sparkles, yeah. Listen. That's... There's a difference between sending somebody, like, a knife or a pipe bomb. That's fine. We have, we have things in place to deal with that, right? But if you send somebody glitter, that is a weapon of mass destruction. Everybody in the region gets hit with that. The, the postal carrier goes home with glitter. The, the 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 sorting machine has glitter on it forever. Uh, my roommates will have glitter all over them. The house has glitter all over them. The, the 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 mail carrier's truck has glitter all over it. Any dogs that get too close to the mail carrier will have glitter all over them. Glitter is a weapon of mass destruction. Okay, it's like radioactive fallout. You can't get rid of it. It's everywhere. Yeah, glitter bombs. Just having... Okay, look. You don't have to... Like, I saw that video with Mark Rober, okay? You didn't need to be that sophisticated. Just buy glitter. It's everywhere already. Like, it, it does not stop at the bottle that you bought it in or the package, the plastic. Nothing stops it. Yeah, the Goblin King's Magnificence. Yes, glitter, glitter is more contagious than the Rona, however, less deadly. Um, that's, that's the only difference. It is less deadly than the Rona, but it is just as contagious. It is more contagious. You can't stop it. I swear, you could, you, you, you could do, you could be in a hazmat suit, level five. You've got every, you, you've got a rebreather. You've got a total filtration system, total self-contained. You could be in one of those hamster balls that they've done for concerts. And glitter will still get inside. There's no stopping it. There's absolutely no. It teleports inside. It oh my oh my one no shindero. It just is right behind you immediately. No questions. You come within six miles of glitter. You have the glitter. 
That's because Eco Glitter saves us all? I mean, does it? Glitter is the herpes of craft supplies. Yes! Yes, it's the Goblin King's Magnificence. Could have Asbestos abatement team in and Glitter would still get in. Yeah, exactly. Glitter stops for nothing. Glitter stops for nothing. If you could find a way to make Glitter record things, it'd be the best spy cameras ever. It could create an intergalactic network of glitter that just passes along information. If we could, if we could figure out how to send data across a glitter network. Don't talk to me about as best as I had to scrape that crap off my floor. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. Ooh, how close are we? Oh, whoa. Where are we, where are we looking now? Yeah, we're not far off. Oh, what? 160 nautical miles? That's not bad. Biodegradable glitter is a thing makes my burlesque and cross cosplay friends happy. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you're saying that this is glitter that self-destructs? Is that what you're telling me? Because Hold on, we need to stop this whole stream. If, there, if, if, if glitter that self-destructs is an option, who the fuck is buying traditional glitter? Who the fuck? What evil fucking... What, what evil son of a bitch is running around buying normal glitter when glitter that breaks down and stops being horrible is an option? Listen, I deal with a little explosion all over the place. You just start hearing the sound of popcorn every once in a while. Like, oh, well, all my glitter problems are gone. Maybe I should go out and get some popcorn. That that, that sounds like a good idea. Popcorn tastes good. I like popcorn. <laughs> Bird leaves. <laughs> Bitch, you mean, you mean feathers? People who don't know the truth of eco glitter. Listen, I didn't know the truth of eco glitter, but just like the bidet, it will change my life. No question. No question. It will change my life. How much time we have left on six minutes? I think we got. More units placed. Hopefully we'll be able to beat it. I mean, we should be able to. We handled the last one. But yeah, bidets are amazing. Eco glitter. I'm learning all sorts of things that are that are just world changing. Now, if we could find out some kind of... So, something we could do, right? To, like, put a satellite in orbit that just eradicates all normal glitter in the world. Let's do that. Just replace it. Just straight up replace it. There is no more normal glitter. It's just bio glitter. Or eco glitter. I'm sorry. What, what was it? Was it bio glitter or, or eco glitter? Bio glitter sounds like, like a disease. I mean, I'm going to be honest. At this point, glitter sounds like a disease. But aside that. Listen. Bagged milk. Okay. 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 Let's talk about bag milk. We have to talk about bag milk now because wifey brought up bag milk. But do you guys know that bag milk is clearly superior to uh, pretty much any other kind of milk container? Are you guys aware of that? I, I, like, I don't even know where you can get it here in the state. But it is, hands down, the superior. No, look. You, you say that. See, here's the thing. If you haven't been to Canada, you don't know how the bag milk works. You don't go and pick up just a vacuum sealed bag of milk, right? The bags of milk come in twos, and those two bags come in a slightly larger bag that has handles. It just looks like a little shopping bag. And you just take that up to the to the cash register, and you pay for your bag of milk, and then you go home, and you oh, they come in threes now. I'm sorry. I, I must have missed the third one. That, of course, because 
you put it in the, the, the pitcher of meat. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what you do. You snip the tip, right? You circumcise the bag of milk, and then you put it in a pitcher that is designed to be the right size for it, right? And it's very narrow, and I deliver groceries, need my hands. Right, so... So that's the thing you 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 carry with the with with the bag like it's a bag just like any other. Look, if you're trying to carry groceries, right? If you've got to carry, let's say, three gallons of milk, how are you going to do that? You're going to do that in two trips because you have to. You can only carry one. Well, okay, maybe you can carry two two milks in one container if you've got a mad big hand like mine. But if you've got little hands, right? You you got to do that in two trips. Guess what you can do with bag milk? You can just stack those bags up just like any other bags that you can that, that, that you can buy. You just hook more handles onto your hands. Yeah, wifey, wifey has mad small hands, right? And she can do four bags in one trip. I could probably do six or seven. I could probably do six or seven. There's no way I can carry six six cartons like like gallon jugs of milk there's no way my hands are big they are not that big i can get two i can get one hand into two handles that's it but with bags oh i can i can stack those up on my hands no problem and guess what if i run out of room on my hands i can just shove my hand all the way into it i can fist the handle of the bag and now i've got it up on my wrist and that's what I was about to get into, wifey, right? So you you circumcise the tip of the bag of milk, and you put it in the container with the bag still there. You pour out of the bag so your container stays clean. Your milk is only open for, like, the, the, the couple of days that you're using that one bag. So you're not opening the carton and exposing the entire gallon of milk to the air you're only exposing a third of it at, the t at a time. <laughs> Listen, I do miss my wife. I would love to see my wife. I do need a visit. Come on. The Ronas has been in the way for a year. Well, it's been in the way for, like, you know, nine months or something. But yeah, like... <laughs> But look, you, you fist the, 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 the container, you, you, you snip the tip on the bag, you put the bag in the pitcher, the pitcher stays clean, the bag is clean, the, the milk is exposed to air far less, especially since you've only got this little tiny tip that you've just barely snipped, is all the exposure that it ever gets, and you just put a, a little crimp tie on that, uh, not a zip tie or anything, but like a, a crimp clip on that, and it completely cuts off the air, and you're done. And the bag slowly compresses down around the milk so you don't have any air trapped in the container. It's not in a rigid container so the air is not touching the milk so the milk stays fresher longer. And then once you're done with that one, you open the next one. Yeah, everything stays clean except for my mind. That, I mean, that was a foregone conclusion. My brain has been dirty for far too long. But look, I'm not the one who turned fisting the bag into a joke. I'm not the one who turned snipping the tip into a... Okay, that one I did. Um, well, in fairness, I, I did all of them. Oh, the battle's ready. Gotta turn on. All right, let's start this battle. Let's see if we manage to not die. I think we should win. Yeah, yeah, we're doing fine. <laughs> I don't know if you made my dirty mind worse or if I made your dirty mind worse. All right, let's open up this chest. I'm going to make sure viewers get everything. And then winner gets... Ooh, Buster. Buster's pretty cool. Grant rewards. Back to map. All right, so we've got... Probably plenty of time to do a third map, but that's going to be the last one. 
Ink scrolls, extra coins. All right. Let's do this. All right, let's. I'm going to start up here in the top. I think I'm going to place an epic tank. And hopefully we can just wipe down through here. Like, that's that's the goal, right? So I'm going to switch that off. Compromise. Secret to a successful marriage. <laughs> yeah. We both made each other worse. That's, that's what happened. That's the truth. The truth of it all is we're both filthy. Um... I don't know why I'm so low to the ground so early. Like, I it calculated my top of descent, but it didn't work all that well. That's fine. I don't mind taking a little longer today. I've got plenty of time. Yeah, better or worse, sickness and health. Um, poorer for poor because, you know, rich is not happening anytime soon. But even if I did somehow manage to be rich that too. New units placed. Thank you. Thank you, Wonder Man. So, um... But yeah. Bag milk, clearly superior. In every way. Poutine, still not sure it exists. Jury's still out on that one. Like, I'm sure that, that like, I, th I, I, let me be clear. The rumor of, of, of poutine definitely exists. However, the fact of poutine, the actual, like, dish may be kind of like drop bears. See, that's the thing, though. It's only in Canada. And when I go to Canada, you say you just can't get any good poutine around there. It sounds an awful lot like drop bears. Come to Australia and look for the drop bears. And then it turns out, you don't see any drop bears. You were just lucky, mate. Good poutine is Quebec. Nobody goes to Quebec! There's no good reason to go to Quebec. Except fishing. Oh, great fishing up there in Quebec. I don't even know why I'm so low. I'm apparently I just am. And we're still 120 miles away. Yo, what's going on? Why am I down to 4,000 feet? 20, 120 miles away. Uh, everybody loves fishing in Quebec. Oh yeah, great fishing up in Quebec. Reason to go through Quebec to drive through Quebec. No, no, fly over Quebec. Dip down through the states, go through Quebec. I have to assume, assume you've seen Letter Kenny to to be talking about everybody love fishing in Quebec. Unless you're driving to the East Coast. Why? I'm confused. I still can't think of it. Uh, look, if you if, if the entire world, if there was if, if there was a ring around the entire world that was Quebec, right? And you couldn't fly. Then you should just disown your family in PEI because you just can't get around there. I have one, please. I mean, yeah, you can you can have Wayne. I mean, I'm not going to claim him. I do like the fact that he just doesn't talk half the time. Like everybody just coaxes him into talking. It, it feels it feels very much like me. I can't disown them and love them loads. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. You're allowed to do that because Quebec is just a, 
a, a small place you can go around right two directions you can go around Quebec go through the Northwest Territories or you can go through the United States either way you can get to PEI without going through Quebec I need more Jared Keto stand push-ups in the shower? I must have missed this episode that or I just don't remember it. Was it from the most recent season? Because I still haven't seen the most recent. I started falling a little bit out of love with it um, in the last season or so. I don't... Hmm... I'm not trying to say that it's bad, it's just they, they got into a lot of things that... It just They started, like, emphasizing on the wrong things, the things that weren't so interesting. Wait, what do I need to be here for this meeting? I mean, you might want to be here for that meeting, because, like... Played Wayne and the hockey player that did the push-ups in the locker room showers. Wait, are you telling me that he plays, uh... Oh, fuck. What's his name? The one that, that's doing all the hockey players' moms. Fuck, I can't remember his name. Shorzy? I think it's Shorzy. See, I didn't know that he played Shorzy as well. I mean, that would explain why Shorzy is never, like, shown. You only see, like, his feet or his hands or something. Good way to not spend any more money than you need to. I really should have been paying more attention to my position. I, I definitely should not be this low, this... this yeah, I definitely did not know that he was playing Shorzy. Um, but yeah, it started focusing too much on the D-Gens and on the hockey players. I'm just, I'm not into the D-Gens or the hockey player. Like, I, I like the hockey players to make fun of the hockey players. He so actually plays hockey, so he gets to play in that role. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. <clears throat> and I like the fact that we're, you know, reusing him and letting him play more roles. But, um, but, uh, I still, I just, like, I don't like Riley and, and Jonesy, or that's, that's the two of them, right? Riley and Jonesy? Like, I like them as set dressing for other scenes. They're a good addition to the show, but they shouldn't be focused on as much as they are in the latest season. Uh, or not the latest one, but the last one before that. The last one that I saw. Um, I, don't, I don't think that they bear out... Uh, their, their humor is too easily overdone. The types of jokes that they, that they use, that they play, that they... That, that they put out there, that they act out, are just not... They don't hold out over long periods of time, and they've been putting them more in the spotlight. Same thing with the D-Gens. Um, they've been focused on an awful lot lately, and I'm just... I find them annoying, and I don't want them to be around as much as they are. So that's... That's where I'm at. Um, I did really like the first few seasons. Um, I've watched season one and two like three times. Loved adding Daxi and, and Ronzi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the gym. The two at the gym. Yeah, they were, they, they were kind of fun. It's just, again, less. In, 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 in this case, less is more because... They have like because the problem is right. Both Riley and Dax, uh, both Riley and Jonesy, and uh, Daxi and Ronzi have one joke. They're basically one joke. Riley and Jonesy skip leg day, right? 
Uh, Daxi and Ronzi is just comically gay and 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 and, 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 and like trying to flirt, and that's the joke. That's it. So that can be funny, but usually within context of other things. When it's just them and it's just, you know, 10 minutes of Daxi and Ronzi gauging who's good and who's not, who, I'm like, I mean, it was a funny joke, but it's getting played out. <laughs> You know, I'd, I'd feel the same way if, uh, you know, if, if uh, Wayne was sitting there instead of bailing and talking about things with people, and that's the joke is the talking, but the, 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 the bailing is also a joke that's going on at the same time. If it just had, like, started that off with five minutes of him just bailing, and then the woman came in to, to try and sell him Goldilocks in the three dates and just kept bailing and didn't talk I'd find that boring because it's one joke played out over way too long so I I don't think any of them are bad characters I just think they need to be refocused as supporting characters which is what they always were supposed to be and then they just kind of got written into the being their own self-contained story. They did the same thing with the D-Gens, right? When they sent Stuart off to, uh... Like, he, he just left town. I was scared they were gonna, they were gonna send Kat, uh, the, uh, Katie, off. Uh, when they sent her out to be a model. I thought they were just gonna write her completely out of the show. I was like, no, she's good! By the way, all this is volumetric lighting. This is fantastic. The, uh, all the reflections and everything, this this all is what it would actually look like, uh, pretty much. Um, and that is absolutely stunning. That is one thing that this definitely has over um, playing. I want at least one more season because the last one ended with the whole town kicking someone's ass for Katie. Yeah, I haven't seen the last season. The the the, se the last season that I ended on, um, I think it was the one where, um, how do I put this to where people who haven't seen won't know? There was a wedding involved, possibly. Do you understand which, which season end I'm talking about? I think you should. There's only one that really ends a season. Okay, good, good. I think that's the last season I saw. And then I think I started trying to watch it on Hulu, but I got sidetracked by Stargate because I really like Stargate a lot. So I might have seen like one or two episodes after that, but then I got sidetracked by Stargate and I've been watching Stargate and Stargate Atlantis. I mean, let me be clear. I've been watching them for like two months now and I have gotten from uh, the beginning of the, be the beginning of the beginning. I started with episode one of Stargate SG-1. And I am now in season eight? Maybe nine of SG-1 and season two of Atlantis? And I have just been tearing through their, th those episodes. And I mean, every time I watch through Stargate, I see a ton of, of mistakes that they made, but I still love it. That's the thing. Like, back then, you could make bad shows, like, shows that have a lot of mistakes in it, and nobody cares. 
Like, that's the trick. Nobody cares. Nobody cared if you made mistakes. Nobody cared if there was continuity errors. Like, it was just about being fun. And it was fun. Stargate is super fun. And I wish more studios could, could figure out how that worked. Also, I still want to know what, what, why, why did suddenly Teal have hair? In the middle of my back swing. Yes, exactly, Jack. Thank you. That's from one of my favorite episodes of all time, Window of Opportunity. One of the few ones where I actually know the name of the episode. <laughs> Which is, I think, why I know it's one of my favorite episodes, because I actually know its name. <laughs> that may be a little bit of wifey's in involvement, but we'll see. That and also uh, Atlantis, one of my favorites, is Runner. Where we run into Ronan Dax. Ronan Dax, pardon me. Okay, but I have to remember. I am not good at remembering. So I'm going to promise nothing, because I, I remembering is not on my list of skills. That's widely regarded as the best episode of the entire franchise. What, Window of Opportunity? I mean, right, you're right. Oh yeah, definitely Goldfish Spring. I may have, like, three goldfish, but very rare for one of them to wander into the palace at the right time. Like I said, y'all saw me? I, I forgot to turn on my chat bot until, like, three quarters of the way through the fucking uh, stream. But for all I know, I might be currently three quarters of the way through the fucking stream. Who knows? <laughs> Thankfully, the stream has not crashed. Uh, that that has been a problem with Microsoft Flight lately, is that it, it crashes a lot. But uh, so far, it hasn't done it, so I'm very proud of it. But yeah, Window of Opportunity, definitely one of my favorites. It may not be THE favorite, but it's A favorite. I had to think about my absolute favorite. <sighs> that is a hard call. I've watched so many. Got to go. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you were able to drop by today and I look forward to hopefully seeing more of you uh over time. If you can't, no worries. I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to be upset. Um but I do hope that I get to see you more often because we don't get to talk much. Yes, hugs. Hugs and have a fantastic night. I'm going to actually go over here and type a Buana hug because I have a little hug emote from Buana. But yes, I hope to see you more often and uh, hear from you more often as well. So, yes, thank you for dropping by. Have a fantastic evening singing razors. Also, you have a temporary slot on my overlay because you are my most recent follow. And man, postmodernist, you are you are working late. Usually you're already off by now. You're usually off a few hours ago by now. Okay, I had to quickly check my... I think you're reading... I think you're reading me late, too. I'm done now. Oh, well. 
Well, no, like, I saw you say it earlier, but I, I, for some reason, I thought that you were still busy with work. But, I mean, you're usually done with work, like, shortly after I start streaming, I think. For here, I'm almost an hour after I was supposed to be done. How are we doing? Ooh. We have another person. Levitaka. Levitaka, I think. Hard for me to see. It's really super tiny. 2,500. I'm at 4,000. I'm going to watch that radio altimeter. I'd been running from 7 a.m. on the good days, so I was done before you were. Oh, okay. You didn't start until late today. Okay. God damn it. Schedule has been foobar. Gotcha. I will say, like, for all the, the shit that I give it because, like, this has gotten all grainy, which you can't even see now, and... This is all grainy. Uh, like the textures have taken a nosedive, but I will tell it that I will give it this: the volumetric lighting is amazing. Yeah, despite going to, to sleep early last night, I woke up after eight hours feeling like I hadn't even slept. I know that feeling far too well. Um, I need you to not at me with that. <clears throat> oh, that would be that would be appreciated very very much. I hate it when my my phone mistakes whether I'm trying to expand a notification or dismiss it. But again, I also hate it when I try to tell it to dismiss it and it does nothing. Seven minutes? Seven, eight minutes? Oh, yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Joel? Joel? Have you talked? We got a rogue. Oh, that means this person played before me. Ooh, level eight. A high level rogue, too. I'm hoping to be able to do this uh, on a regular basis, like every time I stream, or at least when I'm streaming in uh, Flight Sim. Because I, I think it's a fun way to make what would normally be a drab time, me just flying the plane, into a more entertaining and engaging experience for everyone. That's my thought. I think I'm gonna come up to 5,000 feet just to be safe. I feel like I'm way too low for way too long. I'm sorry, I love these OC remixes. There's a reason why it's on my every single stream. Uh, that and they are royalty free. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about getting banned by Twitch because that is happening to a lot of people right now. And honestly, like, here's the thing. This is the, this is where I start to get angry with Rhea, right? Because Rhea, I don't know if it was actually Rhea, but there was some, some musicians group that was going after Twitch streamers lately, mostly because Twitch's fault. So Twitch uh, took the appropriate steps to 
ban, uh, to, to, to basically replace and mute music, copyrighted music that appeared on VODs, but they didn't apply that to highlights or, um, to highlights or, uh, clips. So the, the company started coming after Twitch, so Twitch has to come after us, and in their opinions, and the things that they submitted to the court when they were pressing charges, they said they they made the, the, the absolutely ridiculous claim that the core and heart of streaming, is, that, that, that music is at the core and heart of the stream. And I'm sorry, no it's not. I could turn off this music right now. Most of you would not even notice. Um, except for when I stop talking and I let the silence drag out, then you might notice. But as long as I'm continuing to talk, as long as the game is continuing to play, let me just set the record straight. I am the heart and soul of the stream. Okay? It is me and it is this game. Everything else is just set dressing. It's just there to fill the silence. That's all it's there for. It could be any song I wouldn't care. As long as, you know, it's it's not going to get me banned anyway. I don't care. It's not at the center of the content. Content is centered around me. Right? And I don't say that to be egotistical. It's not like I'm saying, oh, this is my stream and everyone else can fuck off. No. I'm... The reason why you guys are here instead of watching other things is because I'm funny. Because it is interesting to watch me because I know some things that you might not and it might be fun to know. So I'll get into some fun facts. Uh, you might enjoy the fact that I have this and you don't. You might just enjoy things like that. That's the sort of thing that I'm banking on. That's what the heart and soul of my stream is. It has nothing to do with the music that's playing. So, listen, listen, just because the music is what's important to the people that are making it, and it's the whole bread and butter business of these companies that are coming after Twitch because streamers have that music... Just because it's important for you doesn't mean it's important for us. Now look, I'm kind of on their side though. There is a reason why I have always used royalty free music because I do not believe in taking someone else's content. Regardless of whether that is going to be the heart and soul of my stream, I still don't want to use anything that people want money for without paying for it. Right? But it doesn't change the fact that you shouldn't be able to yank down my entire stream or destroy my entire account because of it. Charge me royalty fees? Sure. You should be able to do that. There should be some consequences because it should not be acceptable to take somebody's music and use it without their permission. It should not be permissible, it should not be allowed, and if somebody does it, they should pay the price flat out but that price shouldn't be the destruction of their channel because the thing that they took was not the center of their channel right that's their whole argument is that their their music is at the center of our stream look when you're talking about like people on uh on youtube that are streaming 24 7 lo-fi beats to study to yeah that, then yes the the the, the music is the crux of the channel and then yeah if you're not paying for your music absolutely you deserve to go but if that's not what you're doing then the punishment should be you know in the same vein as the crime okay i think we're going to be a little too close to this to, to to final in order to run this eh, no i think we'll be able to run it we're still several minutes out. Alright, 30 seconds away, and then we'll be able to start this battle. Levitaka's gonna handle this little party all by their, by, by their lonesome. 
We're level 8. They're doing pretty good for themselves. <laughs> Damage 21. I think that means they're going to one-shot these. Yeah, they're going to one-shot them. They do two damage apiece. This thing's got 16 hit points. Yeah. Levy Talk is going to do just fine. All right. Here we go. Battle's about to start. Let me turn it on for you guys. And let's rock and roll. Look at Levy Talk. Oh, holy shit. Gank. Yeah, let me tell you, just running that board. <laughs> All right, what's inside? Let's open the chest. It's like we got one. We got three uh, tank scrolls and fifteen gold for somebody. Grant rewards. Back to map. All right, I don't think we'll be able to do another one. Unfortunately, um, I don't foresee myself being on another half an hour. I'm going to go ahead and hide both of these. Boop. We're going to close that out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought. If it was fun for you, if uh, you thought it was boring and you don't want to do it again, let me know whatever you think, however it feels to you. Just let me know. All right. Uh, so now we are on, we are almost on finals, so let's start putting in flaps. Uh, we are still really low, so. We're already very slow. <laughs> Alright, let's this down, we're about 20, 30 miles away. Turn on our... There's our ILS. We're at flaps one, speed brake as required. We don't really need that, but I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna arm it for the ground spoilers. And then we're going to hope that what happened when I tried to land when I didn't have my HOTUS doesn't happen again. Because that made me feel a little bit like... <laughs> yeah, because I I started porpoising because it's really hard to control this thing with the way that they made the controls for keyboard and mouse. Um, so like eight pitches down, two pitches up, which is fine. But the way that it works is it... It does little tiny increments at first, and then it starts ramping up faster and faster and faster. So you get kind of a mul multiplicative effect the longer you hold it. Well, I can sit there and I can tap all day, and it'll just make such tiny adjustments that it doesn't change my course as I'm coming into land. Or I can sit there and hold it, and suddenly I'm pretty much nose straight up. So I just, I hit too hard on the wheels and, uh, crashed. What's that? Two knots? Yeah, that's not a thing. Go ahead and get a second notch of flaps in. Glide slope. I feel like we should have a glide slope by now. At least an indicator of it. That's where we're landing. This, these night lights really are beautiful. I think Sobo did really well with these lights. Go ahead. No, no, wait. We're still a little fast.
Why are we not getting our uh, wide slope indicate? Not have. Oh. Coming in for. Way zero. LS on nine points. That'd be. Bad nap. LSO five. Huh. Be fifty seven degrees. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect autopilot, So I feel like we need to descend. I don't know if this is not saying that I need to be looking way off to the left and that I'm gonna have to do this total visual. Drop here, lapse three. Lapse four, well, flaps full, I should say. Well, what's going on? Going on. The controls aren't working. No. My controls aren't are literally not working. That's stream. I I literally turned off the auto throttle, had my my throttle all the way up. I was pulling back. My my joystick was doing fucking nothing. Um I have no idea what happened, guys. Um apparently it just decided to stop listening. So yeah, I got a sobo. And this is why we fly in X-Plane, and I will be returning to that next week, because I am not doing another three-hour stream only to have the plane crash, because it decides to stop listening to my HOTUS. Good news is it decided to do that right at the three-hour mark, so guess what? It is time for me to bid you guys farewell. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I'm going to go ahead and raid. I'm going to send you guys over to Wonderpuss. As she just came in doing some uh, encaustic painting. And I find that stuff heckin' cool to watch. So I'm going to send you... Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. I hope you have enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the show. And I hope you enjoyed Stream Raiders. Let me know what you thought. Uh, I hope you liked the overlay. I will see you guys...
tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for being here, and bye. Take care, everybody. <laughs>